to episode 15 of Let's Platinum Super Time Force Ultra. This is it, the finale. The final episode. Unless I choose to make an episode based on time trials. Which... I'm just not going to talk about that anymore because I <laughs> always talk about it and I'm so apathetic. Not apathetic, I'm sort of, sort of um, ambivalent towards it. Alright, let's uh, let's do it. So, start off with uh, a plane flying overhead. Good job, plane. Good job, me, for starting right now. Look at this. Look at this beauty. Oh, oh, what a dodge. I, based on what just happened there, what I should have done was I should have used um, uh, that character from Journey uh, to, uh, just as a normal character because that worked really, really, really well and then basically I had to, you know, get it last 10 seconds. So it was, yeah, wasn't that great. Are you shieldy? Wow, how fast are those? Look, look at me go. There, there, again, another example of me jumping on top of someone's head while holding square and it didn't work. I just don't know why. It's very, very odd. Uh, okay, jump, jump, jump. Hop. Oh my god, jump. It's so hard to get past that little, like, jutting out edge. Alright, Jeff Leopard died. Galahad. Galahad, destroy these guys. Oh, what a shot, man. Me, like perfectly. Who I use next? Melanie! Kablamo! Kablamo! Yeah! Ah! Boom! Come on! Ah, how did that not kill him? Okay. Pinsky, Dr. That guy's already dead. Good? Yeah! Alright, cool. How much left? Yeah, not too much. It's just uh, fall down here and then. I like doing this bit. Yeah, this is actually a pretty decent character for it. Use um Jean Renoir and just charge up his attack because he doesn't he doesn't have like a pushback effect with his attack, so you can literally just like shoot upwards and sort of aim around. You could probably even do it with um by holding R1 to make life even more simple. I use stash here to grab the uh the shard and slow down. Luckily they gave me plenty of time to decide where to jump. Kill that guy on the left, which somehow took like three of my shots. And then the guy on the right. Here, just kill that guy. Got his time trial, which I missed by 15 seconds, not too bad. Considering I only collected one shot. And then, oh! I, I think uh, I tried to jump um, as I came down over that last enemy because there was like that gap. Uh, and I don't think it was a dropped input, I think it was a. Um, it was the time between landing and the game recognizing that you're on the ground and there's like probably like a slight pause that allows or well, doesn't allow you to to jump um, yeah there's probably a slight pause that doesn't allow you to jump there uh, and even though I was pressing X you know obviously it wasn't jumping so I think that's what happened there all right Colonel Rapinski it's like Colonel or Captain Say his name all the time. Alright, so Jeff Leopard. This level tricked me. I was like, hang on, how do I do this level? Especially this bit, but I think I ended up ended up doing it right. I think at this point I was like, let's try the sharks. And then everything came and attacked me. I was like, no. Atlantis levels aren't that long either, which is good, so, um, yeah, it's just a matter of, like, getting through them, basically. Uh, I'm just trying to think if there's, like, any tricky bits. Not really. Um, the boss, the first boss of this bit, yeah, there are, like, two bosses that are really easy. Not Nar, like, the last boss, which, well, it's not Nod Nar, it's Do Doctor Infinity. That's probably the trickiest one, just because, like, Doctor Infinity constantly moves around. Uh, but, yeah, the others are fine. The others are really, really fine. They're all really great levels. I think the level design in this game is really good. Nice and short. Um, 
fun. I think, I think that speedrunning this game would be an interesting uh, task. I'm not going to do it, but <laughs> I think definitely speedrunning the game would be cool. Seeing how people could like um, glitch it out or collect those time trial things like with huge amounts of time left. Um, I'd say that the character from Journey would definitely be someone who'd be heavily involved in that. Yeah, so like for example here with this boss. I grabbed the shard, I slash 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 the tentacle and then just smash the crap out of him in his face. Look, look how much he's, he's losing health. Okay, I almost beat him. Whoa, what? Hang on. That didn't even do damage to me. And I didn't explode really. That was awesome. changed character and I was like okay let me just hold left and see what happens so I jump 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 and then I got it and I probably didn't pick the best character because of the ending right here but it worked out he died and destroyed the switch so I was like yeah I'll take that now Galahad now remember that as I was saying before the bosses aren't that hard I jumped down here with Galahad I think I actually ended up dying with Galahad yeah uh who did I use next Oh, it is a Merlin. Uh, oh, he's lit on Jim, yeah. Lit on Jim is really good. What the hell? I didn't die in the poison. That's good. Yeah, that was a poor throw, but because it was coming back to me, it had to um, sort of arc downwards. So it worked out well. Look at this. Look how much damage I took off him with the few seconds that I had. <laughs> it was like attack. Uh, what, was, what was it? It was. Um, Uh, slash slash slash. Um, no 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 no. It was the charge attack coming back, and then slash slash slash, and then the explosion. So yeah, that was huge. This, um, by the way, yeah, I got a little bit confused here. I was like, I thought the game glitched, um, but I realized what was happening was um, I was I couldn't see the bottom of the screen, and I must have been because I died right at the end to the enemies. I must have been in that red zone that you can't um, like recover from. So uh, I think that's what happened there. I had to, I was like, wait, how am I going to get out of this? And then I re rewinded a little bit further, um, and, and then figured out where to stand so I couldn't, uh, I couldn't get hit, and then it worked out. Five seconds on that one. A lot longer than I thought it would have been. Yeah, no, I got lunch. 
shard and I died a few times, so yeah. Alright, here we go. This is the final boss for Atlantis and therefore the final boss for the main six stages. Um, and then we have to deal with Doctor Infinity uh, on the final final stage. Which was fun to do again, but oh man, it was it was still tough, like it's still hard, like I I, I knew exactly what to do. And it still took me a long time to, to get it. This episode is 28 minutes long. Uh, and a lot of that was just, yeah, uh, that final level. You'll, you'll see when we get there. But for right now, I use an Ultra Galahad to try and deal as much damage. Finally, like, Dr. Infinity is taking damage there. From the attack or from the explosion. Or from the attack, the explosion was a little too far away. Cleo is spamming her. to have. Go. Yeah, that was, I think that was pretty good for Cleo's final attack. It was kind of a waste because she just, yeah, timed well. Stash. I did as best as I could. I think I just actually did really well there. I slashed three times and then got the explosion on as well. Yeah, we got made it too. Ah, uh, he, got, he got clipped by that guy on the left and then I had to move right. That's all. Only because he released more of those guys. I, I, I don't think I was expecting that. I was just like, ah. Those guys. and I couldn't figure out a character to use to actually like just finish him off. I tried with Merlin, I think I tried to charge up an attack there but I released him too early. Uh, maybe I munched him with Jeff, uh, with uh, Zakasaurus. Pretty sure. Maybe not. Yeah, okay, it was with Shieldy. Oh, maybe not. Someone with Zakasaurus. Oh, right. Yeah, he went on that side. I didn't notice that before. Alright, the the brilliant. Atlantis is complete. As is all the, uh, all the other stages except for the Doctor Infinity one, so let's go straight to that. Let's skip this hoagie, as it's apparently called. Okay, now he puts the flags down. He's like, yeah, success, we did it. Party. I never realized that one on the left is really cool. <laughs> kind of like uh, acrobats or something. Okay, Doctor Infinity. Just like a Mega Man type stage. Really cool. Okay. There was a slight cut there, but I don't think you guys could tell. Uh, and that was because I had to. Um, I had to take a break for whatever reason it was. Oh wait, yeah, that's right. Um, there'll be a a pause later on um, for like a second and a half, uh, and that was because I got distracted by something and I forgot that I was recording. So I paused and I was like, wait, oh. and then I was like, oh no, hang on, we get back into the game. But yeah, it's it's like literally a second. Um, all right, so this he I don't know I I must have just not been playing that well. I couldn't I couldn't get a good. Um, start on this guy, I think. I don't remember how long it took me to beat him, but I just remember that I could really get a good start on him. My explosion was okay. So, Jeff. Yeah, Jeff is the best. Jeff, I think, yeah, Jeff annihilated him. Look at that, one shot and he basically took him out. Yeah, okay, yeah, Jeff did. I did really well with Jeff. Amy, fire! And now Ultra Amy has a bit more damage, so she was actually pretty useful. Yeah, I got him down to that, to that second phase. And then I ran out of Ultra characters, didn't I? Yeah, so I had to go back to normal. Alright, this was unorthodox, but it worked. Bounce, bounce, hop. 
I'm glad I didn't go for the next one because I was like, that thing's gonna kill me. Bounce, bounce. Bounce, bounce. And, uh, made it. Bounce, bounce. And then, I think I tried to do damage, but it didn't really work. I think after that, you can't really do damage. Cleo. Yeah, Cleo is awesome. Look how much damage she does. Spam, square, and fire. Spam, square, and fire. Stash left, nice. Slash. He's dead. I should have seen that one coming. Rebot. Uh, Rebot has exactly the same. I, I noticed it before with the secondary uh, projectiles, but his primary ones are actually really similar to. Um, to what? To the uh, enemy's um, projectiles. Hey, it's sort of been good. Why not? Why not use Zachosaurus? When it's funny, this level when you're actually just going to the end, it, it's a lot easier. You can like skip so many enemies, and then I noticed that um, a lot of the debris was like killing enemies as well. Which was good. Grab the floor, because why not? Jump, jump. I wonder if I was like if that debris can hurt you, then there were a lot of interesting dodges right there. Oh, Journey, go journey, go. Oh, okay. Maybe the debris can't hit you because I just went through it. Jump, jump, go. Pop. Oh yeah, the switch. I was so I think I was annoyed at that switch, I was like, no. Oh that switch got the explosion though, which is nice. Cleo, yeah, Cleo was a good choice. Oh, she, yeah, she died. <laughs> stage to do a time trial I reckon. Alright, here we go, final boss. Um, it was okay, it, it worked out alright. Um, I had to redo certain sections. I think I, oh wait, did I restart the level? 
and not cut it out. Oh no, I may have restarted the level and not cut it out. Ah, I did, damn. Oh well, it, it was only a few, a few seconds, I'm not going to re-record for that, almost at the end now. Ah uh, yeah, sorry, I was supposed to cut that out. <laughs> and I don't. That one actually didn't work out as well, because I didn't have the explosion, but I was like, you know what, I'm going to take it. I'll take it. I think I take it at least. fight is really tough because you have to take out, let's see, you have to take out the forearm guns, then you have to take out the shoulder cannons, then the drill arms, then the face, and then him. So it, it is actually quite a lot to do, and even if you've got like good good damage, it takes a while. Ludon did pretty well here, he attacked as much as I possibly could without dying. And I was surprised that I actually ended up getting this. That was the other thing, I was, I was surprised. Oh, Merlin is really good for this one. Okay, use Ultra Merlin for that. <laughs> He's really good for that. Axorus. Axorus took a bite out of him. Oh, that sandwich took a bite out of me. Um, this, I tried my best to, like, attack him as much as I could. Like, I had a Merlin Zachasaurus combination and he just wasn't taking that much damage. I don't know what happened there. But as you can see, like, 7, 6, 5. Three, and then I died, and like look how much health he had left. So I spend the next three or four minutes rewinding and reverting and collecting my uh, or saving my uh, players in order to um, in order to try and continue continue to do as much damage as possible. So this this last phase is really hard. Basically, the way it works for those who haven't noticed it. I must have explained it the first time I did it, but yeah. Um, he has like clones of himself, six clones generally, and then he's the one in the middle, uh, or at least he's mostly the one in the middle. He's not too hard to figure out which one it is. It's like one that's not in formation or moving around or shooting, that's the one he is. Um, and uh, yeah, and then your objective is just keep constantly hitting him. Um, you can hit the other guys, and uh, that was an interesting way to collect a shot, but you can hit the other guys and they'll explode, but they won't actually do any damage to him, it'll just, um, it'll just sort of make life easier for you to actually be able to to attack him. So, yeah, make sure that you're doing that. And eventually, like, I'm really low on characters right now, but because I uh, kept saving them, so like, for example, I lost Cleo there, but I'm pretty sure I get it back in a sec. And then I used Shoot A to just like try and deal as much damage. That was a good shot. That was an alright shot too. And then Shuhei saved both Cleo and someone else just there. And another person. So like I'm getting closer. He went from 
like a third of his health uh, down at zero seconds to now half his health down when zero seconds showed up. This was, you know, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna try and fire scars and stuff at him. That actually worked out pretty well, it did a little bit more damage. Um, and let's see. So revert all the way back. I tried to go for the shard, but I get it. Use Amy again, try and collect everyone that's dead, die in the process. It's a mess, like honestly this last fight is a big mess. And then I was like, oh Cleo is back. Let's use her. Spam, spam, spam. Fire! Oh, that was perfect. Oh, not only was that perfect, but I got this shard as well. That's good. So I tried to save them both. Rebot and Shusei, yeah, and I just basically kept making a habit of saving everyone. But I get it. Get it. Come on. Come on. Ah, so close. He had the tiniest bit of health, I'm like, okay, I can do it, I can do it, I'm so close. And yeah, everyone was saved, so I was like, yeah, I'm pretty sure I got this. So keep attacking. It's, am it's amazing how much. Like, not only how much, like, health and slash defense he has, but, like, how much stuff is just flying on the screen just to kill that one last little bit of HP. Alright, got him. Finally got him. Alright, that pretty much ends the game. Now we get the hardest of four. And... It's time to go outside. <laughs> Actually, if you did this in, like, the most effective way, efficient way possible, you'd, you would only take you, like, six hours, so... Time to go outside. Time to play more games. <laughs> All right, this is the end. Um, I decided to like leave this bit in, and I was like, eh, you know what? Let me just skip it because I thought there's no reason to keep it in. And interestingly, or well, I didn't think there was anything different. Interestingly, when I skip this, I get to. Gotta give it a sec. Here we go. Get to an interesting uh, little cutscene that we didn't get the first time. There we go, the lookers. That was a very enjoyable look, sister. More puns. Yes, brother, I agree. The Super Time Force are really good looking. <laughs> oh my gosh. We should probably destroy them, though, don't you think? Oh, most assuredly, the Super Time Force must die for the good of all dimensional life. So that's pretty interesting. So we're on the same page. Alright, well I'm going to end the episode here so that that way um, I can have enough time to say bye. Yeah, totally. Uh, this has been the final episode of Let's Platinum Super Time Force Ultra. I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, my name is Ultima456 and hopefully if I ever get around to doing it again, I'll try and uh, get the time trials done and add them as some form of addendum to this um, Let's Platinum. So thanks all for watching. I will see you next time on the next one. Bye.